Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and today we're going to test out a new mascara. We are going to be testing out Benefit's Bad Girl Bang. And what I want to do is I want to test this up against the most iconic mascara ever, which is the Maybelline Great Lash. So I feel like the launch of this mascara has been huge. It has been so hyped up. Now I didn't know this before this came out, but Benefit's best-selling products are their mascaras. And they seem to have put a ton of money into advertising this. So let's test it out and see what all that hype is about. So let's see what this mascara is supposed to do. This will run you uh, $24. I grabbed mine at Sephora. It's also available at Ulta. And it says 90% saw dramatic volume, 94% said it instantly lifted lashes, and 92% said it lengthened lashes. So we're looking at length and volume here. It says 36 hour full blast volume. Now, I'm not gonna wear my mascara for 36 hours, so that's not going to be what I'm going to test here today. It says it's smudge proof and flake free, water resistant, um, pro vitamin B5 known to fuel thickness and strength. And the thing about this, and the reason why they did all this like space advertising for this um, is because it has a gravity defying formula. Massive volume without weighing down lashes, one of the lightest known materials used in astronaut spacesuits. So it does seem to be like there was quite a bit of product development that went into this. So from all these claims, I mean, I don't know what to expect because I haven't used it yet, but I should get some massive volume and length. It should be very lightweight. It shouldn't weigh down my lashes and it should last for a very long time. So I figure we should test it out against just a tried and true classic mascara. So that's why I chose Maybelline Great Lash and also because I just bought this one. I haven't even opened it yet. It's brand new and this guy's brand new. So I, sometimes I feel like when a mascara is a little bit older, you know, the consistency of it starts to change and stuff. So I didn't want to compare this to one that I just already had. So I wanted it to go up against a brand new one as well. So let's try this guy on. And I want to also come back and do a check-in for you in a couple of hours because I do want to see, you know, if it's going to last, if that, if it's not going to weigh my lashes down and, you know, all of those claims. So let's go ahead and curl my lashes. Because I always curl my lashes. And on this eye, we're going to do the bad gal bang. So let's see what this wand looks it was a very long wand so that should you know get your eye like in one fell swoop there so let's try it out definitely getting some nice separating Ooh. and these are all my own lashes I don't have like extensions or anything that looks pretty nice and that is not much product at all that I just put on there so far, so good. All right, let's do the other eye with the Maybelline Great Lash. I grabbed this at Target and it's $4.50 there. It's usually a little bit more expensive at Ulta. Definitely, I mean like the wand here is tiny, so we're gonna have to go a little bit more on this eye. Not gonna get the ease of application here as much as we did over there. Okay, so this is definitely giving more, me more volume over here than the Great Lash. And it definitely went on quicker than over here also because this is a really small wand. Um, let's see, let's do another layer. I mean, this is brand new, it's, it's pretty wet, but not like, I don't know, it's not, it's not as wet as some You definitely don't need much of this one. Like you really don't. I mean, I'd be done, I'm done over here on the top because anymore it's gonna end up being really clumpy and I just don't even feel like it needs it. Like that to me, that to me looks, looks really good actually. So we'll do another little coat over here. 
kind of get them a little more evened up. Now this one's getting all over my lid, but that's probably my own user error there. I'll fix it in a minute. I mean, you definitely have to move this wand around quite a bit because it is so much smaller, but I mean, it kind of depends on your eye shape if that's good for you or not, so. Definitely not clumpy over here, but I'm not getting that volume that I got over here. And then let's come in and try the bottom on here. I mean, normally I use a different mascara for the bottom of my lashes, but for experiment's sake, we're going to try it. Now this is an awfully long wand, so maybe you should go in like that, and then maybe do a little bit of this, because this is a really long wand, and I feel like I'm going to touch my face with it. I mean, definitely not like my favorite on the bottom, but that's okay. I already have like a favorite bottom mascara anyway. Okay, so I just had to fix all the mascara that got all over this lid with this the, with the great lash. That was likely my own fault though, not the mascara's fault. So what I wanna do is I wanna wear this for you know a couple hours all day. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how long it takes to see if the lashes get weighed down and kind of how they compare over some wear time. Okay, it's been seven hours since I've had this mascara on and this eye has the bad gal bang and this one has the great lash and i will say this side has not fallen it still pretty much looks almost the exact same as when i put it on it's not flaked it's not gotten up on my eyelid it's it's doing very well um this one also i mean also doing well i do feel like my my lashes have certainly drooped a bit more though um well, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so this this one's not holding up as well with the curl, um, but also not flaking or doing any of that kind of stuff. I usually don't have a big problem with that though. Anyway, um, so I'm I'm actually really happy with what's going on over here. And honestly, they're both holding up pretty well, considering that I had to take all my foundation off because I was trying something out and it was literally looking like it was melting off my face. So. Took that off, put something different on, and I mean, I didn't touch my eyes or anything, so that was fine. Um, and I cooked, and I stuck my head in an oven that was like 400 degrees at least two or three times. And yeah, so it withstood that heat as well. So they're looking pretty good, and I'm surprised that I actually am liking this bad girl bang because the marketing photos that I saw of it looked really, really spidery and clumpy. So I'm really happy with how it went on. Now, you saw that I didn't really put that much on. So this is what it was with, I mean, what did I do, like two coats? So I think tomorrow I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to do it on both eyes though, and I'm gonna put more on, and I'm gonna see kind of what it takes to get that spidery look, because, I mean, I feel like normally I would wear a little bit more mascara than this, so I wanna see how many coats it will take to kind of make it look that clumpiness, if that was just a weird marketing photo, or if that's kind of what happens when you go in a little bit heavier with it. So I'm gonna wait and do that one tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning, and I don't really have any makeup on because I just wanted to do this quick experiment here. So this is the, the look that it's showing on the box for this mascara, and I just feel like that's kind of spidery looking, right? Like it's a little clumpy and spidery looking. And I didn't have that yesterday when I put it on, but I only put on two coats and I would probably use like three coats of mascara. So I wanted to just kind of layer it up a little and kind of see what happens because I don't really feel like I did that yesterday. So let's curl them. I'll probably just do one eye because I mean, it's just a quick little experiment here. All right, let's see here. 
Okay, that already looks clumpier than it did yesterday. What the heck? Was it because it was brand spanking new? It was just like fresh out the gate? Okay. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like this just puts so much on your lashes at once that if you get it on pretty good like I did yesterday, like that's all over my lid. Um, it's like a time saver because you don't have to put so many coats. So like honestly, I probably wouldn't put any more on than this normally because I feel like it would just get super clumpy, but I kind of want to see what's going to happen. So let's give it a second. <laughs> and I will say last night when I was taking this off, it was really, really hard to remove. Like it was almost like waterproof mascara status hard to remove. And this is not waterproof. I mean, it says it's water resistant, but it's not marketed as a waterproof mascara. And man, it, it took quite a lot to get it off. But I will say it never looked any different. I wore it for probably about three hours after I did my last check-in. It never looked different. Um, okay, let's go in with more. Okay, this is like already starting to do that. I mean, that's getting pretty clumpy already. So, oh. That's, I mean, that's not the style I go for. I usually like a little bit, I usually like more separation. Um, but I know some people really, really enjoy this look. So it just, it kind of depends on what you're going for. But I wanted to see if I would get kind of that result that I've been seeing in like the marketing materials for this mascara. And I would say that you get it pretty quick. I feel like yesterday when I put it on, I got such a different application. All right, let's do one more coat and see what happens. Oh man, that is, oh, that is getting, oh wow. Okay, so a little bit goes a long way with this one. So I would say just be a little careful with uh, the application if you're gonna get this one. I like it just because it took, it was like one, two swipes and I was done. Um, but now I can kind of see where they're getting these images for the marketing because, man, that turns into um, some pretty spidery stuff really quick. And that's not like my style. And they look a little bit heavy already. Like, they just very coated very quickly. I will say, this is not how I would apply it. Um, I really like the application I got yesterday, so I'm certainly going to keep using it, using it and playing with it. I love that I got it on in like one quick shot. Um, but if you do like to layer up your mascara a bit, I feel like this is what this is what you're gonna get. It's not going to be like one of those clump-free mascaras at all. Um, if you want something you can build up and build up and build up without it getting clumpy, I would say the CoverGirl Clump Crusher is a really really good one. Um, but yeah, wow, okay, so the, the marketing materials were, were spot on. If you put like three layers on, this is, this is what you get. I mean, it's not bad, but like for me, this is just not usually the look that I go for. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see what I have coming in the future, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!